everybody by now knows that it's very important for women to be part of the water resources management of water and sanitation issue. But of course, the question is, why is it important? If, say, I was Minister of Infrastructure, for example, and uh, Global Water Partnership tells me, OK, before you build a dam, please make sure that women are involved. But why is it important? Maybe it's not. It's, it's much better to save time and uh, you know, efforts just to build a dam. But a lot of evidence and data are showing that if you involve women in the decision making with water resources, but also uh, different water uh, projects, then outcomes are much better. Why? Women are generally disproportionately affected by the household energy and water management issues. You know, women, for example, uh, to cooking, uh, to the uh, heating, but also deliver, take the water, and they spend a lot of time on that. So if water is delivered, for example, sanitation pumps, pipes, and water is delivered, they will save time. If they save time, they can invest into education and economic activities or make a bit more, ma more money for the household. And IMF, for example, last year estimated that if the number of women in the labor force will be the same as men in Japan, Japanese GDP will grow by 9%, or in India, they will grow by 27% GDP. Uh, so there's a lot of potential if women get involved both in economic activities, of course officially with the paid jobs because they do a lot of unpaid jobs, but also if women get involved in the decision making as well because they are, they, they are much more knowledgeable you know, about the water management because that's, that's what they do in their households.